This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. And Trudy's question this morning was, you know, she's uh, as we go through our training, we start seeing things differently and stuff. And Trudy's noticed that she doesn't always have Annie consistently on the bit, on the edge. And that's when most people would say is when Annie has a rainbow on her neck and her back. So what we're doing is isolating that feeling by having... Trudy really focus on the steps to connection as a way to know exactly where Annie's head position is. How, how does that feel different? Yeah, it feels, it feels different, and I'm sure it's because you got on her first. Well, that doesn't matter because you needed to feel this, right? Yeah. How does that feel different than what she normally does in the warm-up walk? That's right. So what she was noticing, I actually got on Annie a little bit before she did this morning to show her what we were doing. And so she's now feeling that Annie's got a different movement because as soon as I get on a horse, I ask them to connect a little differently. And that's what Trudy's learning now is that it's okay to ask your horse to stay connected with you. That's very nice. And you feel now she's understanding it different, isn't she? Yeah, but she can be resistant. They all can. Because they're, like you said, they're trying to figure out what is it that you really want them to do. And I feel like she's really marching. I guess that's always the best word I can call that's a, that's a good word. It's a nice forward marching walk. Okay, now when you do your turns, remember, you've got to feel her picking up your outside seat bone. Then you'll know that it's right. It's almost a leg yield feeling that we're adding to the curve at this time. So that Trudy can start feeling the lateral balance. And even though the horse should be picking up the inside seat bone, for whatever reason, I found that riders can feel the horse on a curve picking up their outside seat bones sooner as a way to be able to know if they've actually got their horse in any kind of a lateral balance. And then as they get more sophisticated, they can feel it on the other side. Feel the back end sometimes like just falls apart. Yes, and that when the back end falls up, that's when you ask her to step up into your rein again. Your rain connection. Good, good. Okay, let's start adding some circles and loops now. So Annie and Trudy are competing in tr training level right now. Test three. Between schooling shows this year and working their way up. Right there is where she's losing her connection. Do you feel it? So that's where you're going to ask her to soften her jaw, steps to connection. First she has to soften her jaw. As a result, she'll give you her pole, lengthen her neck, lift her neck, and be able to step up more from your leg into the rank connection. Good. Lots of praise. Nice, Trudy. That's it. Position her. You're going to start thinking leg yield, three or four steps. Every circle you do, you're going to add a couple steps leg yield so that you can really isolate her picking up your outside seat bone. Good. That's where you need more outside rain. If her nose comes up, the outside rain is too long for that second in time. Good. Take your time because you're really feeling the difference between your outside and inside rain now, aren't you? Right there, push her into a leg yield. Once she gets fussy, push her against your right, left rein and leg. Praise her. That's good, Trudy. Did you feel what that did? Yeah. You feel it aligns her so she goes straight. She's losing it right here. So do another leg yield into your outside rein and leg. That's right, touch her with your stick. Touch her with the stick, send her forward. Praise her. Do you feel her picking you up different? Yeah. That's it, that's where you get her realigned with straightness. You feel it? Now she's only gonna be able to hold it about six steps. Like tell me when you feel her starting to drop it. Something's not quite right here, right? Think of a leg yield for four steps, see what that does. Feel how it picks her up. Tap her forward, tap her forward, tap her forward, tap her forward, tap her forward. Praise her. Let her go forward. Ask her for the rainbow. Good. You feel her picking you up different from behind? She's going to lose it right here, so ask her for another leg yield. It'll be every four steps, by the way. Shorten your outside rein. Praise her. There. Do you feel how you're getting her more aligned with her shoulders and her hips now? Right here you'll need to do it. Think leg yield. Push her against your outside rein and leg. Remember to praise her. Think leg yield right there. Good girl, think leg yield right there. Her haunches are leading. Good. Right there. So she's just thinking of a leg yield. What that does is it gets the rider's inside leg active to where they can actually put the horse softly against the frame of the outside rein and leg. 
Good, good. How often do you have to keep sending her over to the right rein? Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. This is what trainers do. So, yep, if she doesn't go over there, your outside rein is too long if her nose is up. And you're just playing with it because this is a different feel for you, right? Take your time. Now, whenever you feel even a sense of her disconnecting, you just get her to leg yield. Shorten your outside rein. Praise her. Yes, good, Trudy. And it might happen every four steps. It's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Annie isn't sure she likes this. Now come down the center line or quarter lines and we're going to add four steps leg yield forward. So it's just four steps leg yield and then forward so you can keep the forwardness in your leg yield. Keep her more active. Four steps, outside rein is too long. Good. So if her nose comes up and her neck goes flat, it's because your outside rein isn't supporting her. Okay, ask her again. Soften her on the outside rein and leg. Soften her more. Soften her more. Soften her more. More. There she goes. Praise her. Good. Do you feel how that can work for that? Good. You're going to come cut across the ring. Go down a quarter line. Just keep doing something different. Leg yield to the other direction this time. The leg yields are nice. They really teach you when a horse is against that outside rein and leg, don't they? You, yep, you need more outside rein. If her nose is up, you don't have, you're not giving her, because you wanted to work on a rainbow, right? Yeah. Which comes from the rider's legs and reins. So if her nose sticks up, you're not giving her a rainbow. That was simply because you're not asking, you're not asking enough. Good, good. So that way she can come through her shoulder different. Do you feel it? She needs your support now, doesn't she? So this is different. Before we were riding her more like a green horse. Now you're saying, take my support in a different way. Good. Praise her. Just four steps and straight. Good, look where you want her to go. Four steps, more active behind. That's all right. That's where you've got to play with your outside rein more. So your right rein you're going to play more with. Good. Bring her to a halt. We're going to take a walk break. It's been seven minutes now. Good. Bring her to a halt. Great. What are you starting to feel with what we're doing now, Trudy? What are we isolating? Not pulling on me. <laughs> That's right. So the pulling on her, on you is her just not being sure where to put herself, right? Right. She goes okay in the halls, but about yeah. beyond that. So what did this exercise teach you? Because your goal was to create a rainbow, which is really just the horse softening to your rain connection, right? Yeah. It's hard doing the lateral movement. She just, she doesn't want to stay in that outside rain. That's she right. She wants to throw her head all around. And it's not that she wants to, she really doesn't know what you want. That's all it is. All right, let her have a walk break. Good job, Miss Annie.